Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gub Drops and Lollipops Tarot bringing you a quick read. Today we're going to do The Person on Your Mind. We're going to get some uh, Love and Romance Journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot as well as the Soul Reflections Love Oracle deck. And if the, um, if the vibe is right, we'll get some Hidden Truth Oracles. I kind of felt like wanting to use that deck, so maybe someone's got some Hidden Truths that they want to express to you. I want to show you my nail polish really quickly. Cause I just put my hands in warm water because it's, um, it's changing, as the temperature changing. You can see the tips are kind of starting to turn purple. But they were like completely purple when I came downstairs. So um, I ran my hands under some warm water because I like the green, but it does switch between and sometimes it's like ombre kind of and then other times it's just solid, solid green or solid purple. But um, they're going to change to purple. So. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching because it's cold down here. Um, thank you so much for watching. We're going to get the person on your mind. We're going to start off with what your person is thinking about you. What's the person on your mind thinking about you? Two of freaking cups. So this person sees you as a soulmate. This person sees you as a true love. This person sees you as a potential marriage material. Um, they are thinking about probably being with you, about how much they love you. We have the Six of Swords. What are they thinking? They're thinking a lot about you. We have the Six of Swords and the Knight of Swords. The Three of Pentacles. And the Knight of Cups. I feel like this person is trying to feel... And the Magic Stick. You know what they're thinking. Look at purple. Starting to turn purple. Um... It's the coolest. Sorry, I'm distracted by my fingernails. Okay, this person is definitely thinking about you in an extremely passionate way, but I'm not going to take this card out because it's the bottom of the deck. I do feel like this person has you on their mind a lot. They're thinking, thinking, thinking about you. I feel like they are thinking that they had to move from a situation um, onto calmer waters and they want to run directly towards you. They want to come to you. They want to express to you how they're feeling. They, they want to move quickly and swiftly. This is what they're thinking in their mind. I feel like they can't stop thinking about you. Not only do they see you as a, a love, love, true love soulmate person, they are thinking about you as a teammate, a team player, about building and growing a future, I feel like. And they want to come towards you. They're thinking about coming towards you with the major love offers. Um, the Knight of Cups is like um, true love. It's energy of like gifting, um, providing for um like he's coming with roses on a white horse with a picnic and a bottle of wine and a love letter right so he's kind of pulling out all these romantic gestures so this person's thinking about coming towards you talking to you expressing their love that's what they're thinking about and they're thinking about the magic stick what what <laughs> all right let's see what are they feeling what are their feelings their actual feelings um, six of Wands, Two of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Page of Wands, and the Magicians on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like your person's been heavily manifesting you. Your person has been, like I said, they can't get you out of their head. They keep thinking about you. They are thinking about rushing towards you. They're thinking about giving you all these love gestures. They're thinking about how you're their soulmate. They're thinking about how they would love to have a, a marriage with you. And then their feelings show up. Right? And I think this is where fear kind of sets in. Even though I don't have any cards of fear. Um, I feel like they're just kind of indecisive. They're feeling... They're feeling... Um, that... That, that there's a roadblock here, that there's a stalemate here, that there's a potential um, conflicted thought or feeling. Um, hold on a second. Feelings. I don't know if I, I said all the cards. I think I did say all the cards. I feel like, um, I feel as if they really want, they, they can't stop thinking about you. They imagine like rushing towards you, what it would be like. But then when it comes to, um, really putting that into play when they think about their feelings they're 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 worried it's like they're like hitting the brake um they're not rushing towards you like they want to right I know this is not the the actions card but I feel like this person um does have a lot of passion for you you know how they're feeling about you they do feel this could be a victorious situation they do feel like this could be um 
love conquering everything, but there's definitely a feeling of a stalemate or a feeling of not really being sure of where to go, a feeling of being blinded. I almost think this is because they're not sure of how you would react. This person um, definitely sees you as someone that they could be committed to. They definitely see you as someone who cares for yourself as well for others. You are financially stable, emotionally stable. I feel like they know this about you. Um, your person is keeping tabs on you. They're watching you from a distance. I feel like your person knows what they want. I feel like your person has these ideas in their heads of what they want to do. And then they kind of sit in reserve. Like they're sitting on the sidelines. They're not really taking action. Um, this person is seeking information either from other people or from social media. Um, trying to get tabs. Probably trying to get a read on where your head might be. Um, and they definitely, again, have lots of passion for you. I feel like they, they, they have so much passion for you. It's really hard for them to contain themselves. Hmm. Let's say what is um what is blocking this person? What is what is blocking this person from coming forward? What is this two of swords energy? What is blocking them? Why are they keeping their distance? What is blocking the person on your mind? The chariot. The king of swords. The devil. And the Ace of Swords. This person is overthinking. This person is obsessing. This person cannot get past the what ifs. This person is like all up in their head. Um, they need a new clear. They need a new uh, clear. Uh, clear. They need clarity. A new like start with clarity. Um, but they are like obsessively thinking about what if, what if, what if. I want to do this. I want to do this. But, but, but. Like, I feel like that's kind of their energy. It's like, I have all these plans. I have all these thoughts. I want to do this. This is how I'm feeling towards my person. But, what if? What if? Um, the King of Swords is also here. So, I feel like they're very smart, guys. They're very, um, they have, like, all these plans, like I said, devised in their heads. They've been thinking about the situation. But it's to the point where it's obsessive thinking. And it's not healthy. And it's not productive. And it is... Um, all those what ifs. It is like that Kane Brown song, like, you know, what if, like, just what if, what if, what if. Like, they're really hesitant. They're really stuck in their head. And they're not making this choice to move forward. I feel like the chariot is like making a choice and moving forward quickly. This person's not making that choice to move forward. They're just really wrapped up in their head. And lots of like negative kind of thoughts with this um, defeating thoughts. Fear can be paralyzing, guys. So if you're if you've never felt paralyzing fear, even for this kind of situation, you're lucky. All right, let's see what what are their actions going to be um, in this situation. The Hermit. Oh, no. The Five of Swords. <laughs> oh, the Queen of Pentacles. The Lovers. And the Moon card. Well, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Because I was like, no, 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 no. So the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. So they're putting these burdens down. I still feel like, guys, they are, so what are their actions? Like, initially, they're in this hermit mode, right? They are, um, ooh, these aren't turning all purple now. I must be getting warm. <laughs> um, this person is sitting in hermit mode. They are they are moving, removing themselves. They are focusing on their growth. They're focusing on their healing. They're focusing on their learning. Maybe it's what they're learning about you, Um you know, with that page of swords energy, the kind of stalking your, your socials. Um, but this person is really focused on solidarity um, and healing and growing. I, I think that's a good thing. They felt quite defeated in the past. So I don't know if you guys had a relationship in which there was like a defeated ending, but I think this person's like very anxiety filled, right? So I think it's good for them to kind of pull back to heal and and get rid of some of this anxiety if this healing process is doing that. 
I think it is because the Queen of Pentacles is here. This is an energy of um, becoming stable, becoming grounded, becoming a caretaker, a provider, um, a nurturer, someone who is willing to care for others. It's also like a step up from that Nine of Pentacles energy, the Queen of Pentacles, and the, then the, the Empress. So I feel like this person's leveling up. I feel like they're they're healing, they're growing, um, they're learning, they're dropping this defeated energy by becoming more independent, more of a caretaker, more of a nurturer. They're getting their finances stable, they're getting their emotions stable. And they are going to move forward. The lovers is also a choice in love. So I feel like they're going to come towards you because the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. I think they're putting this burden down of feeling defeated. They're putting this burden down of feeling unsure and conflicted. They're going to make a choice and they're going to expose their hidden truths. Isn't that interesting? Because what, what they're really feeling, they're going to expose. And I've had this deck pulled out. It's open, see? Um, because I thought I was going to want to use those cards today. So I feel like they're going to be exposing their hidden truths. And their hidden truths are they love you. They have so much love for you. They see you as a soulmate. They see you as the person they want to marry. This is true love. They, they truly love you. All right, let's get some outcome cards. What are the, What's the outcome going to be between you and the person I am? Whoa, that scared me. That flew out. The Three of Cups, guys. So in the beginning, we had the Two of Cups as the first card. We have the Three of Cups now for the outcome. I feel like the Two of Cups is an awesome card, right? It's um, it's true love. It's soulmates. It's um, marriage to me. So I feel like that is the Three of Cups is like an elevation of the Two of Cups. It's true love, soulmate, marriage. But it's also like this solid, solid friendship. It's like you're not only are you marrying your true love, you're marrying your best friend. This is someone you don't want to be without this is potential reunion could be um but this is someone that you just love inside and out and your friends it's not just like contingent upon being attracted to them or them being like a good sp spouse or dad this is like your best friend this is giving me like um this card always gives me like wedding reception vibes or an engagement party vibe so i feel like uh that's definitely the outcome let's get some more cards on the outcome i just want to make sure i had my deck the right way the five of pentacles the four of wands the page of pentacles and the six of cups yeah this is the emperor on the bottom of the deck. You guys, I, I really strongly feel like this is a reunion. Clearly, you know the person on your mind, right? When you come to watch a video about the person on your mind, you know who that is. Um, this is someone that you have, you have um, potential Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. This is someone who you have planted some seeds with in some capacity, whether it's like a friendship or um, a past love or a past life love. There's definitely been seeds that have been planted to some degree that will be growing to fruition. The Seven of Pentacles is like about um, things coming to fruition, wishes coming to fruition, things you work on coming to fruition and being like abundant. So I feel like this is definitely something that's been started in the past to some capacity. This person showing up as your divine masculine. This is someone who wants to take care of you, wants to provide for you, wants to protect you. They want to be your divine counterpart. Male or female is irrelevant. The, the masculine energy is, is the energy of being a provider, a caretaker, being someone who um, wants to protect, being someone who wants to be your other half. So it doesn't matter if it's male or female or who's watching or what you're interested in or who, what, you know, what sex you're interested in. Um, it's all about the energy. So I definitely see this being a return, uh, uh, the outcome being uh, a soulmate. I feel it's even twin flame. It's a little bit more significant with this twin flame card, the 1111 card. This person um, and you, this is potentially why I feel like there's this back and forth. Um, we have the five of pentacles energy here. So this again is kind of like that defeated energy. You had two five show up in the spread. Um, I think this person goes back and forth between feeling super confident to like feeling like, what am I doing? Is this person going to want me, um, to super confident? Like, yes, I love this person. I want to come in. I want to protect. I want to provide but am I going to be left out in the cold? Is this going to be enough? And I think they kind of battle their, their mind over their heart. They want to run towards you. They want to express everything. 
Um, I do feel like they will be making a decision, but we also have the Page of Pentacles here, which is a slow and steady energy. Um, I feel like in their heads, they replay things over and over. I feel like in their heads, they, they envision all these scenarios and what they're going to do. And then they don't. They kind of freeze up. And I think part of it is because they get in their head and they think of all these what ifs. Um, I feel like your person could potentially be going through some hardship. Um, in which they need to kind of pick themselves off the ground. So potentially like a loss of a job or um, being left out in the cold to some capacity or degree. I feel like they are um, building themselves up, which makes sense with that Virgo card or that Hermit card. I always call it the Virgo card. It's a Hermit card um, where they're, they're putting themselves in solitude and, and growing and healing, right? And um, getting themselves ready for this relationship. Uh, the best that they can because I feel like they still are going to be kind of stuck up in their head. Um, this is a twin flame connection. If you believe in that, if you feel like this is twin flame, I guess you would know better than I, but I feel like this has the potential to be a twin flame. If you don't know what it is, Google it. Um, intense connection of just recognizing souls because you are one um, and coming together in different paths throughout lives and lifetimes. Um, but this person feels like home. This person feels safe. This person feels what you've been missing like your other half um but there's definitely lessons that are built into your relationship and whether or not you engage and come in and out of each other's lives is is um when you're learning lessons and, and whatnot you can fully come together too um then we have the page of pentacles like i said slow and steady energy it is committed it is grounded it is loyal but it's going to be slow and steady but this person wants to show up as your emperor i mean there's no um denying that i mean we had the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, the uh, Magician, the Emperor, um, the Queen of Pentacles, uh, the King, or the Knight of Cups. I mean, there's so much here that's showing a love. Then we also have the Six of Cups. Again, this is a return. Um, the outcome is going to be great. This person feels like nostalgic. You have nostalgic feelings about this person. They have nostalgic feelings about you. Um, when you guys come together, I feel like it's warm. It's fuzzy. It's... it's um, you reminisce about great times or you will reminisce about great times. This is a true soul connection, you guys. So I feel like even though this person is so up in their head, um, and I don't know if it's because of a dynamic between you and them or because that's how they are or because what they've gone through, but um, either which way, uh, it's, it's detrimental to their movement at the moment. They're like just really up in their head. So we're going to get some... Love and Romance Journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot about the person on your mind in this connection. Harmony. Masked Offer. Magnetic Connection. Tired and Standing. And delicacy. Oh, this delicacy. Bottom of the deck, we have communication. So, like I said, they, they're thinking about communicating you. It might start off very small. That page of um, pentacles energy is a very small movement. So, um, I'm just going to show you this delicacy card. It's like potentially ace of wands. But I'll let you interpret that how you choose to. <laughs> um, we do have mass to offer and tired and standing. And I kind of feel like this person has been keeping their truths about you and how they feel about you um, hidden. They've been hiding what they really are thinking and feeling. Uh, they've not been open with you. They've not come to you and told you how they feel. Um, they're going to, so get ready. Um, but they're, they're tired. They're tired and they're standing. I feel like they're tired of battling their head over their heart. They're tired of what if, what if, what if. I feel like they're just going to get to the point where they're going to say, like, I have to take this chance because it may never come back around. They recognize, they know this is a magnetic connection. You know this is a magnetic connection. You would not be watching this video if you weren't concerned or interested about what this person on your mind is thinking and feeling, right? This is definitely a mag magnetic connection. I think when you come together, there will be harmony and there'll be some delicacy. <laughs> and I, I feel like it'll start with communication. She's clearly like on a phone texting, it looks like. So, um, or maybe like social media messaging. Um, I feel like that will be the beginning of this reunion. 
All right, let's get a couple of Love Oracle cards from the Soul Reflections Love Oracle cards deck. Friends, mm, yeah. So this could be someone that you're friends with, that you feel like you're friends with, um, that you've only been friends with, uh, but these hidden truths are gonna be exposed date night. Gate closed, this is not the right time. Faith and destiny, things will work out in the end. Ooh. You know what? I don't want to take those. <clears throat> Let's get one more card. I, d I don't want, I just want five, not six. One more card. If those, my oldest wants to give me lots more cards, but I don't want them. I just want one more card. Happy freaking family. And then on the bottom of the deck, we, oh, sorry, look like I had some sideburns going. Um, happy family, and then on the bottom of the deck is take my hand. Yeah, I really do feel like um, the gate is closed. I feel like this is that person battling their head over their heart. It says um, it's not the right time. I feel like that's what they're telling themselves. But um, it's going to work out in the end. Things will work out in the end. So it says right here, faith and destiny, happy family, and take my hand. So I feel like. Um, we got a lot of warmth here, guys. We got a lot of yellows and oranges um, in these in this last few deck in this last deck that I used. Um, I feel like it's it's definitely it's definitely happening. Um, I think it will result in this happy family, but I feel like your person has to really get over that devil energy, that obsessive thinking, that excessive questioning, the thoughts of feeling like this may not work out or um, I might not be worthy of this person. I mean, you're clearly sitting here watching a read about them. So um, if they only knew, right? Maybe you should express your hidden truths. No, they're coming towards you. I think they need to, to work through what they're working through to come towards you. So we're gonna get a couple of hidden truth oracle deck cards um, from All Things Intuitive. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I want to get five of these as well. Um, you came closer than anyone. It's time for me to heal now. Again, that hermit card energy to me. Um, we both know I'm not the one for you. I love you. And then on the bottom of the deck, I want you. Um, I feel like this person perhaps said, we both know I'm not the one for you, or maybe you said that to them, um, or you came closer than anyone. I feel like this is past energy or past conversation. Um, I feel like this is your person's, I feel like likely your person said this to you and it's their um, insecurities again. Like I feel like their thoughts, their insecurities is what's kind of battling them. They're battling themselves is what I meant to say. Um, it's time for them to heal. They stay awake thinking about you and they love you and they want you guys. Now I'm bummed because I got my hands warm and now they're um, not turning purple. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually put some water on my fingernail. Hold on, hold on. See if it'll turn it purple. Yes, it will. So you can see the, the other color. Sorry, I'm a dork. <laughs> see, isn't that the coolest? Isn't that the coolest? Oh, I guess this one's starting to turn that color. But anyways, all right, guys, that's going to conclude our read. Um, thank you so much for watching. I do uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. Thanks. And until next time, take care, guys. Thanks for watching.